And um, how many how, how many times you reckon you played here over the years? Uh, it'd be hard to say. I, I guess what twenty eight years. I, I used to do it maybe twice a year, probably. And we did all our open mic nights and everything else. So I've probably done. Well, I messed up my math. I don't remember how much it is, but probably two or three hundred shows. And this, uh, and you play, you play clubs. All, I mean, is there? Well, talk about there, the. Uh, there's not many comedy clubs. Well, up in up in uh, New England and stuff like that, I haven't worked. But there's not many comedy clubs that I haven't worked in. And uh, the punchline is is. Uh, it, it stays the same. I, mean, I remember when this build, this this actual room wasn't here. I mean, they ran, basically ran comedy in the south out of that little room over there with all the desks uh, pushed up against the wall. Ron D'Annunzio and Dave Montesanto and my manager Chris DePetta started this thing from the ground up. And I believe, I may be wrong, but I want to say maybe 81, 82. And uh, Chris saw me over at another club down, it used to be down where the storage facility is now down at... Uh, Piedmont and Roswell Road, and I'd just run through the rain, and he heard me tell a couple of jokes, and became my manager about a year later. So, so, but this is uh, the second place I ever told a joke in Atlanta, Georgia. I could do a Richard Pryor impression, and I wrote about three jokes, and that's that's how I started. But in those days, you could go out on the road with ten minutes, you know, make three hundred dollars a week doing the same ten minutes over and over. And now I don't think I can say my name in ten minutes. <laughs> All Travis Trent songs in the same. Hey, Earl, you're All Marty Stewart songs in the same. Thank you, Travis. I don't want to sit here and pick on Marty Stewart. He was an instrumental prodigy. He played in professional bluegrass bands when he was nine. That's hard enough. What's really tough is talking to your parents and letting you go out on the road with a bluegrass band when you're nine. Mama, Didi, I'm gonna get in that car and throw in the cowboy hat. We're gonna go stand on a plywood stage and play to some fat people in lawn chairs. I already quit school. Well, y'all be careful. I mean, I was relatively humorous when I was 10. But my father wouldn't let me go out on the road. One person's hitting these jokes in the back. Man, go home and get ten friends and bring them back. Sit in the front row next time, man. Give me a reason to fucking get up here and do that. You're killing her. There's all Neil Young songs in the same. You go to New Jersey, they love Bruce Springsteen. It's the boys, it's New Jersey. But every song he ever sang was about how much New Jersey sucked. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get the fuck out of New Jersey. Anybody who ever saw the Almond Brothers knows exactly what I'm talking about. 
Greg Allman doesn't give a fuck if you're at the show. He could be playing in Augusta. He's going to be back in Atlanta. All the trailer girls. Oh, we love Greg. We love him. We know him. Well, Mom and Greg don't know his bass player. Get the fuck away from him. So you're 26, you don't remember rock and roll, it's over. You missed it. Sorry. <laughs> rock and roll guitar came out with Chuck Berry about 1952. It's like a football game that had just started and nobody was excited about the game. Well, fuck, that might be a new Almond Brothers. <laughs> 